Welcome to another episode of the Bengal Genius Show. I'm your host, Eddie Nashville, and let's get into it. Duke Tobin and head coach Zach Taylor had a conference this week. Um, I don't know. I wasn't blown away by it. I mean, they're not going to reveal their cards, obviously, but there were a couple things that were a little bit of concern to me, okay? I, I know the history of the Bengals. I know the history of the Browns. And, I mean, the Brown family. And what I'm curious about is this decision to not try to re-sign William Jackson and Carl Lawson. Now, traditionally, if the Bengals like a player, they before they hit free agency, they will extend a contract. It's happened with so many players, I don't even need to answer. Carlos Dunlop, Geno Atkins. Carson Palmer, AJ Green, on and on it goes. They they will offer a contract if they'd like a guy before he gets to test free agency. And then other times they will let the free agent go and test the market to set up his own price. What I'm concerned about is did the Bengals take a calculated move for financial sake over team sake? Did they think, hey, it's going to be a buyer's market, so let's let the market decide William Jackson and Carl Lawson's contract. If that's what happened, that makes me a little bit nervous, man, because you have to balance it, obviously. But, you know, you look at the NFL, man, them teams that are really hammered right now with the salary cap, uh, you know, Tampa Bay, uh Tom Brady just had to redo his contract. Pat Mahomes just redid his deal so they get free more money up. They're not uh, the New Orleans Saints are in cat prison. Oh, hold on here. Hold on. It's, oh, uh oh. It's a little, it's my little buddy. Huh? Uh, it's the newest member of the Bengal Genius Show. I love this dog. She's a little sweetheart. Uh, this is Nova, everybody. She's uh, new new to the family, and she's awesome. Sorry she interrupted. I'll beat on her later. But um, anyway, back to what I was saying. You, you don't want these guys. You have to do what's best for the team, in my opinion. I'm not looking to have a balanced checkbook, necessarily. I want to win the most games. So, long story short, what are we going to do with Carl Lawson? Only five and a half sacks. There was a big debate among Bengal fans on Twitter today. You know, is five and a half sacks worthy of a premier deal? I say no. You know, uh, that ranks 41st. There's 41 more players in the NFL that have more sacks than him. Now, guys are going to say, well, what about the defensive line and this and that? Historically, man, if you're a stud defensive end, you're getting your sacks. All right? I love Carl Lawson. I'm a, I'm a fan, you know, but, but we can't break the bank for the guy. But our defense is so bad that I'm not sure what we're going to do. I touched on this last episode. I'm not sure how to handle this, man. Hopefully, I guess, hey, they can prove me wrong, and maybe they're, they are smarter than me if they end up getting both players back. But if not, then we got to go chase around more defensive ends for that already hor- horrific defense. It's going to be bad news. I'm going to start digging into linebackers in this coming up draft. This defense is sorely in need of a mean-spirited Vontez Perfect type. I love Vontez Perfect. He is another Bengal that, to me, I would put him in the ring of honor. I love the guy. I don't care about his penalties. The guy really transformed that defense. He made it something to be afraid of, and that's what we need. And right now, our defense consists of a bunch of swell guys. There's no dogs on that defense. Sorry to say it. There's talent. Jesse Bates is obviously the best safety in the NFL. Uh, After that, there's some upcoming guys, you know, some young guys coming up. But there's no killer dogs on that defense, and that's what we really need to develop. Um, Also, there's another debate going on, and I've been racking my, you know, my brain about this on the best way to, to describe it is when this is such a unique opportunity because Joe Burrow being on his rookie contract, we really have to strike now. So the balance of, 
you know, this offensive line that we obviously need to get fixed, do we, if we invest heavily in that, in free agency, that's going to still leave us our defense weakened. If we can sign, if we draft a rookie like uh, Sewell at the number five overall, will we? Will he be a legit stud? Some say yes, some say no. My man missed entire, didn't play at all last year. He's still a young kid. He's 20. Some have said there's a little bit of an attitude problem, whatever. Personally, I like my linemen to have an attitude problem. I like my defenders to have an attitude problem. So we'll see what happens there. I don't know, man. I, I, I just was listening to Zach Taylor talk about the offensive line and having to get this fixed. And my thought was, yeah, no kidding, man. We've been saying this for a couple years now. Why wasn't that the primary focus last year? I'm nervous. I'm always nervous, you know. But we'll see what happens. I'm hoping for the best, obviously. Free agency begins March 18th. And hopefully we make some big signings. Hopefully we get some good signings and great fits and it all works out. But I don't like the fact that the I hear the coaching, uh, Zach Taylor, specific, Zach and Duke, they reference them injuries a lot, and I don't like that, man. I don't like using them excuses. Next man up. That's how it goes all the way down to Little League. Don't be sitting there you know, using that as an excuse, and that means you didn't build the team right. If you don't have no depth, then who, who's in charge of the depth? All right? So if everyone's getting hurt, what are you doing wrong with the training facilities? How are it's everything you're doing correct? That's that's what my question is. Word on the street, I never had a doubt to, uh, at all this whole time is that Joe Burrow is on schedule. I'm sure he is, man. Wherever Joe Burrow's at right now, I, I bet he's either uh, playing, uh, he's jumping rope, he's playing hopscotch, he's. Uh, Pretending he's a kangaroo. I got no doubt this guy's knee's going to be 100%. And I'm so excited to see him come play again. So, oh, a lot of action coming up, man. Lots of moves are going to be made. Uh, what can we do to help our defense? How can we figure out this offensive line? The best case scenario. What we want to do is we want to get in sync all the contracts with Joe Burrow's rookie deal. And then we're grooming young guys to replace the guys we may sign in free agency so let's hope that happens let's do it also uh the Bengals, uh i i forget her name i think it's elizabeth i'm not even sure man but uh blackburn katie blackburn troy blackburn's daughter she's coming up i believe she's 28 there was a little article about her and i telling you man i am very impressed with the she seems like she has enthusiasm. She, it seems like she wants to win. So I'm little young Katie Blackburn Jr. I'm looking forward. I hope to hear you. Contact me, banglegenius at gmail.com. I will help you with whatever you need. I will give you clear-cut, clear-cut expert opinion on what the direction of the team should be. And how to, all I want to do is win a Super Bowl. You seem like you want to win a Super Bowl, and I love that attitude. So be sure to subscribe, and be sure to keep on watching. I'm blowing up, man. I got so many. It's great. Thank you for everyone who watches already. Tell your mom, tell your friends, tell everyone to watch the Cincinnati Bengal Genius Show. I will talk to you soon, and as always, protect Joe.